Okay, welcome back. And tonight we are going to be talking about flowcharts. First off, what I need to do is to define what a flowchart is. And here we go. A flowchart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm, workflow, or process showing the steps as boxes of various kinds and order by connecting them with arrows. This diagrammatic representation illustrates a solution model to a given problem. Flowcharts are used in analyzing, designing, documenting, or managing a process or program in various fields. Okay, that was come that came from Wikipedia. And what that really means is it is a concept map that shows you all the steps in a procedure. Um, let's let's how about we look at a flowchart for making a lamp. Uh, function properly. We'll do something really easily right now. Okay. Uh, here we have a little flowchart that shows how to check the lamp works. Okay. First off, you see the pink box that says that a lamp doesn't work. Okay. And then you follow the arrow and then it has this rhombus that says, is the lamp plugged in? It's a question. And, and basically you have two options, yes and no. If it's no, then you go plug the lamp in. If it's yes, then go check something else. Now, is, is the bulb burned out? If it's yes, you replace the bulb. And if it's no, well, you got to repair the lamp. This is pretty simple. Um, but that's kind of like what a flow chart would look like. Um, there are different shapes for different uh task and things like that, we're not going to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is keep it simple. What we are going to do in geometry is we're going to just draw a, we'll keep it to rectangles, one shape, and then and in that rectangle will be our statement. Below the rectangle will be the reason why we know that statement is true. Logical reason, right? Um, and in my example here, I have a box with AB congruent to AB, and that's my statement. And the reason I know that is because we're talking about the same segment. Some of you in Algebra 2 may know this property as the reflexive property, and I am totally fine with you writing that down. Because eventually we will be going there too, but later on when we're doing all the proofs later on this year. So let's move on and tr make a flowchart. First off, I am going to give you some information. And in this case, I have given you that a triangle ABC with AB congruent to BC and BD, the angle bisector of angle ABC. I would like you to show to me that AD must be congruent to DC. All right, the first thing I want to do is have a diagram. And on this diagram, I want to mark all the information that I know is true. And so I have a triangle and I know that AB is congruent to BC. And I know that BD is the angle bisector of ABC. So angle bisector. So angle bisector means that it cuts the angle right in half. Now, if I'm going to prove that AD is congruent to DC right here, uh, it seems I've got to plan it out that if I proved that these two halves were congruent, then I would have it. All right, so let's do this. I've already kind of made the flow chart out for us, and we just need to fill in the boxes. Uh, so one, I've actually put in BD is the angle bisector of angle ABC. How do I know that's true? Well, that's a given. That's some of the information that was started in the in beginning. There's actually something else that I know. Uh, I know that AB was congruent to BC. That also was given. Now, I've kind of, you can see where I'm going. Because I know this angle bisector, I know something. And these three things are going to come together and show me something else over here. All right, to prove those two triangles congruent, I've got a side, an angle, and I need another angle or another side. We could go, we could probably do this in a couple of different ways. Um, I am going to choose side, angle, side only because I think that's quicker, right? Uh, so in this last box, I want to write BD is congruent 
to BD. And as my example, I can either write same segment or reflexive property. Yes? Now, what should I write here? If BD is the angle bisector, well, I marked it on there, right? Then we know that it, those two angles are congruent, right? And I will try to show you everything. Angle A, B, D is congruent to C, B, D. And what reason do you think I know that is true? That was given. The reason I know that these are, well, because you told me it was an angle bisector, right? So that's just the definition of angle bisector. Definition. Angle bisector. Now, now you notice that these all three converge right here on this box. And you can look at it and see that I've got a side, an angle, and a side. I have proven that two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. And that's the reason. Now we just have to be careful and name them correctly. That was difficult earlier on, right? So one triangle is A, B, D. The other triangle is C, B, D. And they are congruent by SAS. Now that the triangles are congruent, we know their parts must be congruent, right? All right, so A, D is in this triangle. It's congruent to C, or excuse me, D, C in this triangle. And what reason do I know? I just, I kind of hinted to it, the parts, right? And we put down the parts. It's the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. So that always will follow after you prove the triangles are congruent, right? You can't have C, P, C, T, C prior to proving two triangles are congruent. We are going to have a lot of fun with this and work on this in class. So I have made another one for you. Here's your check for understanding. Here's the given information. There's the picture. It says, I've got this funky picture, and BAD, angle BAD is congruent to CDA. AB is congruent to CD, and I would like you to show that BD is congruent to CA. Let me zoom out one little bit so you can get the whole thing in here. All right. And I've laid it all out for you, and it looks like you need to give a reason for number one, a reason for number two, number three, you need to give me my statement, uh, number four is a reason, and number five is a reason. Pretty straightforward. And if you need help, I bet if you just rewound just a little bit, you can find the answers. Okay, see you tomorrow or the next day, all right, if you're watching this early. Remember, don't watch them, you know, too early. <laughs>